Uh, knowing you have a match coming up, just being in Vegas, too, what was that? I mean, it's cool, man. Uh, just a couple years ago, like three years ago, I was, uh, I just got fired from my job. Uh, I, I did the unemployment thing, you know, and uh, then I got fired at miscellaneous other jobs because I needed too many weekends off. And you know, here we are in Vegas. I'm signed to AEW, and I look forward to, uh, to killing it on Saturday. How, how do you think, like, the, being one of the guys that are in like the cruiserweight division and everything like that, feeling that vibe? How how is that balance going to be going into like with AEW and knowing that you like kind of one of the first? Year? Once considered that, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. But uh, I don't consider myself a cruiser. I just consider myself me. <laughs> you know, I, I've beaten Keith Lee. I've beaten the big bad guys. But uh, cruiserweight division, whatever you want to label it, if I'm involved, it's going to be the best ever. Yeah. Hey guys, can I just have everyone scoot over a little oh, yeah, bit? Sure. We're going to have to split the band. Sammy, how are you looking for your uh, schedule to pick up once AEW really gets going? Um, I mean, once once they start going and talk to the races, and uh, I just feel like my one goal here is really just to make everybody know who the hell Sammy Guevara is. And so, uh, a year from now, let's see. You know, I'm on the buy-in today, but a year ago, a year a year from now, let's see where let's see where I'm at. Now, after the uh, the event that took place at the, at the weigh-in, uh, you had the entire uh, venue chanting that you were an asshole, and we all know that at the MGM Grand, there's going to be a massive crowd. Yeah. How does that? How does having that in the back of your head that you're performing in this ma in front of this massive crowd and in front of all these fans around the world play into your match at the buy-in? Oh, I love it. Uh, you know, they they think I'm an asshole. I think I'm just saying Mick Guevara the best ever. You know, we all have opinions, and that's why uh, wrestling in 2019 is, uh, is great. They can chant whatever, but at the end of the day, uh, the show, my match, it's going to speak for itself. Whether you like me or hate me, my work speaks for itself. What do you want fans that are not too familiar with you yet to take away from that uh, I, saw, I saw what you said, and I'm just going to go a different direction. What I want fans to do is I want them to go to my YouTube channel, and I want them to subscribe. You saw me vlogging right in the beginning when I came out. Yeah, uh, I'm doing awesome videos that I edit myself, I document my journey, doing one for this weekend, so subscribe. What's the YouTube channel called? Sammy Guevara on YouTube, baby. Yes. Uh, Sammy, would you have preferred to be in the Casino Battle Royal for a chance to possibly win a shot at the AEW Championship? You know, um, I try not to, to think too much of what could be or what's not. It would be, you know, get an opportunity. It would be cool, but then I have to go and compete against 20 other people or whatever. So this one-on-one, -on -one, I think it's good for me. Uh, I think I think I get to show really what I'm about more in a one-on-one -on -one than with so many people involved. You, you mentioned that you thought your opponent was there because of the TV deal. Who would you like to be facing if not for It doesn't him? matter. Like I said, he's good. You know, I, I'm glad I'm facing him. He, he's very talented, but it, it does not matter who is against me. Uh, I wrestled this man to our right, and we killed it. You know, I can kill it with anybody. Uh, so he's just a body, and uh, Sammy Guevara is the name. You're not just going to the first time. It's the first quality match ever. That's right. What kind of pressure do Hey, man, uh, I love it because it's, uh, it's kind of setting the stage. It's like, are we setting the bar high? Or is it like, uh, huh, all right, I don't know about that. No, uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to uh, kicking off the show with the main event. That's how I feel. Uh, all throughout the show, what I want you to do, and everybody, I want you to take away the names. I want you to take away the hype. And just look at it as a body of work. And let's see who outshines who. Two more guys for Sammy. Yeah. What's been the most kind of surreal experience for you since signing with AEW? Oh, I mean, uh, the fact that uh, this is uh, the, the, the event t-shirt or the event poster. You got guys like this guy to my right, Cody Rhodes. You got, you got uh, some of the most famous wrestlers in the world. You got JR on there, you know what I'm saying? And my face is on there. I might be the tiniest guy on there, but that's pretty surreal for, for me. For my whole life, people told me, you can't do this. It's one in a million, but I always believe that uh, why can't I be that one? And uh, tomorrow night, it's, uh, it's going to be proven that I am that one. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you, Sammy.